I hear him. Nope. Oh. Would this be the end of TBF? Is the series over? Find out today on how bad is he at this game. What's going on, guys? TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 18. We're on day 17. Why doesn't she see us? What? Why are you not paying attention to me? Where are you going? She's bound and determined to go that way. I don't know what she's doing. That's fine. Make it easy on us. We'll take it. There we go. She was just destined to go that way. I don't know. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're good to go. So we've got a couple things going on in World today. It's day 17. Of course, always inching towards another horde. We're going to kind of just fortify this little horde base right here, and then we're going to start work on our own custom horde base. I don't really know how to make horde bases. This is going to be kind of fun to get into this just a little bit. I've got my auger right here. I've got a little bit of fuel. We do need to go get some fuel. We're also going to go wrench some cars so we can start getting ourselves a little bit more... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, we need a battery. That's what it is. We're looking for a battery today. So let me just auger out just a little bit of this, and then we're going to go probably go wrench down the cars. Do I have the wrench on me? We got the wrench on us. Perfect. We're ready to go there. I think we're about ready. All right, let's do this. I'm going to auger just a little bit here, and we'll kind of just talk through this, and then eventually we'll do like we do most episodes where we kind of fast forward through a lot of the just simple augering stuff. And then what I'll do here is all wood foundations, kind of in the outline of what we're trying to build. I think... I don't know. I still don't know what exactly we're going to try to do. If we can live long enough, then we'll do like a couple different type of horde bases. I do want to do a drop pit eventually, but I've never had a chance to do it. And it takes so long to build something like that, but we haven't really had a chance to do that yet. So there we go. Perfect. Now in the last couple of days, we've had some, some really good luck. We've had lots of good drops. We've got ourselves the bicycle finally. And then we're going to work on... Oh, that's right. We're going to the trader today. That's the main thing we need to do. I almost forgot about that. There we go. That was almost close. So let's do that instead. I was supposed to get my stuff ready during the nighttime. Of course I forgot. So let me get a little bit of the stuff ready so we can go sell it. And then we'll take a quick trip to the night. Or to the night. To the trader. And then we'll come back and we'll wrench cars. So that's the two things. Because if we can hurry and get a battery, then we can go back and forth to the trader a lot faster on a mini bike. That'd be a huge advancement. All right, let's do this. We've got all of our money sitting over here. So we'll go money. In fact, all of that's going to get sold. Uh, we want to sell that. Keep all that. And then I think we'll try to sell these and that. And that's going to be pretty much it. Everything else I don't want to get rid of. I'm definitely not wanting to get rid of most of the stuff here. Do I have anything in these two? We did do a quick drop off last night. We can sell the shotgun. We can... That's it. All right, you can see we already have a lot of the mini bike pieces. The next thing that we will, are working on is the full mini bike itself, which the one thing that we're missing is the lead car battery. So if we can find a battery, whoa, 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 whoa. Did that say a helmet? Hold on. I thought I saw a helmet on there. Maybe I was just seeing things. Let's go mini. Oh, the mining helmet at the bottom. I would love to do the mining helmet. If we can find a mining helmet, because we don't have one currently. We had one previously in the playthrough, but then we had that death. If you guys don't know what we're doing here, this is part of like a One Life Challenge. Now, we're going to change the series up. We've talked about it several episodes in a row where it's going to be when we do eventually kick the bucket, because it will happen. Uh, we're eventually going to get got by all these zombies. So instead of just picking up and leaving this area over here, we will just make it challenging in a new way. So either we up, up the difficulty or we, I don't know, just do something else to make it harder. All right, let's go. Let's get to the trader. All right, at the trader, let's do it. We did pass a dog out there. I'm so glad we we're on the bike. It makes it so much easier. But let's get a quick a bit of selling dunning, dunning, done. Uh, we're struggling with words today. It is late at night. We should be sleeping, but we wanted to get another recording done for Seven Days to Die. Make sure we're working on a couple good episodes here and start the uh, next set of edits. Let's see. Wrench. Let's get it. Oh, man. Iron gloves. Let's go iron gloves. Do you have any more jobs for me? Uh, particularly to the east. 
And there's a fetch quest. Take it. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we can get sold here. Hopefully he will take a whole bunch of stuff. Why didn't I empty my inventory before we came? What are we thinking? Uh, we're going to sell that guy. We should have probably repaired it first, but it's fine. I'm going to sell that. All right. Let me check to make sure I don't need to wear these first. There we go. No. No. All right. I think that was it. Okay, yeah, the rest of it we can sell. All right. So we'll go boots, gloves, chest, chest, boots. We'll sell all the parts. All right. I probably needed to keep that radiator, but that's fine. All right, keep that. Rocket launcher. There we go. Get a decent amount of money for it. You can see what our, our money's up to already. All right, sweet. I like it. Uh, we should put this back down, though. Let's put this maybe here. We'll go with that instead of the club for a little while. All right, let's see what this guy has to sell for us. Oh, man, I wish I had enough for the chemistry station. That'd be amazing. Weighted head, 44 Magnum, junk turret. Oh, man. We are way off from getting a junk turret. I would love to be able to afford that, but we cannot. All right. Helmet light mod. That's not very expensive. We're going to take that. All right, structure brace, scrap armor, urban combat, maybe. Wrench. Forgetting the elixir. Look how expensive that. 40000 all right, we need to hurry up. We're going to waste too much time here. Pistol feet, rifle parts, and a mini bike. They've got a mini bike for sale for 12000 Yeah, I don't think we can quite get there. We did get a, a tip about getting a whole bunch of stone, and we can use that to sell uh, in huge stacks. So maybe it would happen, but that's it's a day 19 restock. It'd be really hard to get there. All right, let's see what we got. Anything big? Clothing, weapons, iron crossbow, nails, iron dart. Okay, nothing, nothing really. Let's just make sure there's no battery. Y'all come back now. All right, back on the road. Now we're gonna go look for cars on the way back. We'll go hit up some spots where there's some cars. We'll do that, and then I think we're gonna head to the north, maybe, where we found that little thing in the last episode, that little house. I want to go just a little bit further north and see if there's a city. I do believe there is one. How far are we from the mission, though? Is that it right there? It is. We are all kinds of turned around. Where are we going? Oh. We're nowhere near. We're not even headed towards home. It's north. Okay. We get a little turned around out here. All right. I'm going to follow this and see what the mission is. Maybe we'll finish up another mission today. I don't know. We kind of keep going back and forth. Base work needs to be the focus, but I also want missions and XP and levels and I don't know. We want everything. We want it all. <laughs> so let's go look and see where the mission's at. If it's not too hard of a building, we'll do that. All right, here it is, Blitz Defense. So I'm a little afraid that this is gonna be one where they're just rushing at you. <gasps> hold on, hold on, before we start this. Make sure I'm reloaded. Yep, reload, reload, reload. Oh, God. Dang it. Dang it, that was bad. Why are we so bad? Okay, that's okay. Everything's okay. We survived. Oh, I hear a zombie, though. Where are you at? Where are you? There we go, there we go. I could not figure out where it was coming from. Here we go. Got it. Okay, like I said, they might be coming for us, so our bike, let's get it turned around. We're going to point it down the hill, and we're just going to jet out if we have to. All right. There we go. I hear him. Oh. All
Oh my god, we didn't die. Why didn't we just jump on the bike right there? That was so bad. I didn't leave outside the area, did I? I might have. Also, did we just lose our bike? <gasps> hold on. No, my bike's right there, it says. Okay, hold on. Alright, let's get some healing going. Oh my god, that was close. Okay. It says my bike is right here. Alright, did we go outside the area? Or did I get credit? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know if we did. Let me see. Oh, it says we got it. There we go. Uh, and then we just got to talk to the trader for it. But that's probably a trader that's very far away. All right. There we go. Back to the house. How did we not die there? That was super lucky. All right. A little bit of music, a little bit of travel. Let's do it. Let's take a quick second to put something. Oh, wait, our helmet is not a good one. Dang it. Okay. Do I have another helmet that's better rated? This. Can I put a light mod on the leather hood? Modify. I can. <laughs> that's excellent. All right. I now have a leather hood <laughs> that has a light mod on it. Bam. We got a headlight. Perfect. All right. Let's go looking for more cars because that's, that's the main focus first is we want to see if we can find the battery. We were told to go ahead and start wrenching a bunch of cars. See if we get lucky. Uh, and I don't know. I know it changes from alpha to alpha what you get from cars when you wrench them. But I think we're going to get this. Oh, oh no. Good. Good. It's starting. All right. Let's get some port stuff done. Good to go. Let's see if we can get all of our arrows back. We probably need to put a park into the one that helps us get more arrows back. Uh, but let's go get these cars wrenched down. That that was <laughs> a little unexpected. Uh, we're just kind of trying to focus on some things, and the game knows that. But that's good. That's good. We needed some XP, so that helps out. All right. Let's go wrenching. I really need the battery, so that's what we're hoping for. Make sure I don't have it already and just goofing off now. Okay. We'll just kind of keep an eye on the right side, see if we get lucky. And if not, uh, we'll just keep going around doing that. If nothing else, it gives us a little bit of XP. gives us a decent amount of tools. I need to stop sprinting all the time. All right. Let's focus on this. And I definitely need to go eat. Uh, I don't know the last time that we ate and drank. We are low on food and water. So we need to fix that very quickly. There we go. All right. There we go. We got food poisoning. So that took a second longer than it should have. All right. Let's go ahead and go around the way a couple times. We'll see if we can find something. We'll come back. Hopefully I have time to do just a little bit of the base of our future, I guess, zombie horde base. So focusing on cars. Since we got such a late start, we're definitely not going to go all the way up to the north to see what's up there. I know I see snow up there, so I'm hoping there's like a snow town. That'd be, that'd be good. Uh, let's see. Should be some cars over here. There we go. Get a little bit more car action going. Oh, yeah, lots of cars right here. Perfect. That cabinet place is a good POI. We might go in there. We could just go for the loot, too. Uh, <laughs> not going in there anytime soon. Not until I have, like, maximum shotgun stuff. All right, there we go. All right, let's get to wrenching. Got the battery. Got the battery. Yes. We can probably go back and get the 
mini bike going. I'm going to go ahead and finish up these cars right here anyway, since we were going to do that anyway. And just kind of help us out with further supplies for later. So here we go. Uh, finish up these cars and then head back. Yes, this is huge. All right, that's it for the wrench. We'll come back and finish that off later. We could probably auger it, but I don't know if that gives us worse supplies out of it. So we're not going to do that just yet. Let's head back over here. We got to get ourselves the mini bike going. That's going to open up a lot of stuff. Now I really do not want to die because the mini bike is going to help out a lot. Also, how's our food? Want to eat one more time? Yeah, we can eat one more time, but I don't know if I want to waste a bacon and egg on that. All right, let's go back in here. All right. Yes, man. Good, good. Good progress today. So we'll get our mini bike going, and then I guess we need to look into the junk turret since we've never made one ourselves. It's always been stuff that we found, and we have not found one yet since our last death. Let's go. Oh, what are we looking for? Oh, all that bike stuff. Oh, I had it all in there ready. No, it was in here. Okay, what else do we need? Okay, mini bike. All right, I am missing the chassis, the handlebar. And nothing else. All right. In a minute and 11 seconds, I'm going to have the mini bike. Perfect. Uh, do I need to stay inside this inventory for it? I think I do in order to get credit for it, right? Do we get credit for the bike? Or does that count as a quest? Maybe I'm thinking of uh, the modded version. I think I am. All right. I'm going to hang out here and wait for it. Okay. There it is. Mini bike. Yes, we've got a mini bike. That's huge. Gives us a little bit of inventory. I think it's got a little bit of inventory. And I think we can leave it out nowadays so we can actually have it out here and not have an issue with it. Uh, it won't disappear on us, I think, right? There we go. Bam, and it should have a much better storage. Not crazy big, but definitely big enough to make it worth it. All right, let's get our crossbow back down there. All right, we need to get to doing some foundation laying. So what I want to do now is start making a... Uh, we're going to do kind of like an old school base that we did a long time ago in 7 Days to Die, and it may not work, but I definitely want to try it out. So let's go frame. I'm going to need about... Let's go about 65 of these. Probably won't need that many, but we're going to need close. So we're going to have to figure out how much space we have here. So let's do this. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, no, oh, five, five, six. So we need to go one more there. Okay. And then seven. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should we go a couple more than that? That'd be eight, nine. We could go nine by nine. So if I clear out two more spots, let's do that. Let's clear out two more spots. We'll go nine by nine. That should give us a big enough area. And then we're just going to slowly make it bigger from there. It should, be a lot, it should be pretty successful if we can get it right. Here we go. Come on. It's really weird that there's no noise when it refills now. I don't know why that's a thing. I didn't even notice it until I watched someone else's video and they pointed it out. I've never paid attention to it. That and I don't get an auger very often because usually we don't make it very far into a playthrough. There we go. I'll go one back this way and then we'll finish out the foundations right here. And we'll do most of this with just foundation. Or with Yeah, with the frames. And then we'll work from there and start getting it built out a little bit. There we go. All right. There we go. All right, much better. So that should get it all the way out there. There we go. So this is going to be like the inner fighting area, and I'm going to set up some kind of beams or bars or something. I've seen a few different videos with different builds on it. We'll try and make ourselves something safe. This probably won't be ready for a couple days, probably. We'll get it going here, hopefully. And I think the problem is it's not like old horde days, and I don't want to just do the same old thing where we just cheese the AI all the time. Because, like, I don't know. That's one of my few gripes about this game is, I, I don't know. I just would think that if you're doing, like, a real horde base 
for zombies if zombies were real, right? Because that's how we do things. If zombies were real and you were doing a horde base, that wouldn't make any sense that they would climb up the ladder and jump towards you every single time. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that they're smart, obviously, but I don't know if they're going to be, you know, I don't know. I don't expect them to be like 28 days later, but I also don't expect them to be like Zombie Land Double Tap that I just watched a couple days ago. It's not going to be like that. All right. There we go. I like that. And then we'll go... Gonna need way more frames. Let's go a ridiculous amount of frames. Two, three, four. Something like that. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. No, hold on. Sorry, I'm getting a little mixed up here. Oh, my bad, my bad. My fault, my fault. Not like that. So we'll do an, the inner area here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the center. And there we'll eventually do a hole down underground so we can get... Well, maybe either underground or up above. I'm not sure how we'll get to this just yet. And we just need just a little bit of space here. Okay, like that. There we go. All right, and then I'll explain all this, how this is going to work eventually. If you guys seen one of my old series, then you'll know what this is going to look like, but we'll worry about that as we go a little bit here. We're definitely not going to have enough to get this going right away. We'll, we'll upgrade all this be later. I just want to get the outline of it, and then we'll kind of work from there. Okay. There we go. And we'll definitely upgrade it some more before we go much further because I don't want it to all break down on us. There we go. All right, so that kind of gives us the outline of the center area. And then I'm probably going to go... I probably want two spaces here, so we're probably going to go one more space out. So let's do this. All right, let me go around one time. one more time with these as a layer and then it's going to be a lot of work after this it's not going to be ready anytime soon but this is going to be this is going to be really cool we're basically going to test if an alpha 15 and alpha 16 horde base can hold up to the what are we an alpha 18 and now i'm having trouble remembering what we're doing now there we go there we go that's the general outline of it and then everything after this is going to be pillars so now we just need to upgrade it do we have time to upgrade it real quick I think we do. We're gonna try. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go one one layer of, of upgrading here. gonna do it let's go ahead and get up inside base i probably will take out this one zombie since it's gonna be following us now are you running uh do i not have it set to run at night oh they just jog they they run not sprint that's what it is we probably need to change that to sprint to make it a little more difficult there we go there we go i did not mean to do that i thought that was my spear my bad <laughs> not the plan anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the episode hit the like button subscribe if you're new leave a comment down below i'm gonna work in the morning on a little bit more wood we'll continue to do the little foundation laying for our future little horde base right there it should work out we've done something similar like this in old alphas and i know with the new zombie ai it's not quite the same but i think we can still get it done but anyways guys like i said like comment subscribe all those kind of things i'll see you in the next episode seven days to die alpha 18 hope you guys are having a great day see you in the next video